Major financial institutions have recently indicated that XRP's value could surge past $100, given its widespread acceptance and integration within the banking sector. Surprisingly, this milestone might be achieved sooner than most anticipate. There's substantial evidence supporting this claim. If you find this information valuable, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing the video. Plus, stay tuned for an exciting XRP giveaway. Following these three easy steps could lead to a rewarding outcome if you're the lucky winner. As always, Welcome back to MoneySide, your go-to spot for everything XRP related. Now let's dive in. In recent weeks, there's been a notable uptick in XRP's adoption. Notably, several American banks are poised to embrace XRP, spurred by Ripple's announcement that XRP will be integrated by financial entities throughout the nation. Interestingly, Ripple, the fintech powerhouse behind the cryptocurrency XRP, has foreseen a renewed wave of enthusiasm from U.S. banks, keen on utilizing XRP for international transactions. This renewed interest is bolstered by a recent court decision that has provided much-needed regulatory clarity for for XRP, potentially paving the way for U.S. financial institutions to adopt this digital currency. However, the ripple effect, pun and intended, of this announcement and the widespread adoption of XRP isn't limited to just the U.S. Shortly after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission granted Ripple a pivotal legal win by classifying XRP as not a security, several global institutions signaled their intent to transition to RippleNet, which leverages XRP for international transactions. Take for for instance, HSBC. They've chosen to integrate XRP for mortgage settlements, a move underscored by their partnership with FCF Pay, which now facilitates the settlement of mortgages and loans using XRP. Then there's Honda, which has adopted XRP for automotive purchases, allowing customers to settle their vehicle payments with the cryptocurrency. The global embrace of XRP is evident in its inclusion in the ISA 222 crypto list, a universal standard that empowers financial institutions globally to share details information, enhancing international transactions. As XRP's footprint expands in the West, its influence is also growing in regions like the Middle East, Asia, and Europe. Moreover, the Middle East, with its strategic position as a financial hub, is showing keen interest. Countries like the UAE and Bahrain are exploring ways to incorporate XRP into their banking systems. In Asia, nations such as Japan and South Korea, known for their tech-forward approach, are not just adopting, but also innovating with XRP-based solutions. Europe, with its diverse financial landscape, is also seeing a surge in XRP adoption, with countries like Switzerland and Luxembourg leading the charge. But what does this mean for the average investor or user? For one, as XRP becomes more widely accepted, its utility, and by extension, its value, could see significant growth. This isn't just about speculative investment, it's about a transformative shift in how we perceive and use money in a globalized world. In a significant move, seven leading banks, namely Centenar, Unicredit, UBS, Risen Bank, CIBC, National Bank of Abu Dhabi, and ATB Financials have all adopted Ripple's system to optimize their international payments. Furthermore, Mercury Fex, a renowned money transfer service, has incorporated XRP for its transactions to and from Mexico and is actively setting up a payment channel with the Philippines. But the story doesn't end there. SBI, in collaboration with Ripple and R3, is enhancing remittances and real-time international payments through their platform called MoneyTap. Intriguingly, MoneyTap leverages XRP as a bridge for payments, with an impressive consortium of 47 banks working towards a Ripple solution to develop an RC platform. Additionally, Banco Sandra, another banking heavyweight on the global stage, has partnered with Ripple to assess the efficacy and dependability of institutional payments. Beyond these banking giants, fintech startups and smaller financial institutions are also taking note. They recognize the potential of Ripple's system to level the playing field, allowing them to compete with larger banks by offering faster and more affordable services to their customers. One such example is Plinx, a burgeoning fintech in Southeast Asia. They've recently integrated Ripple's system to streamline remittances between migrant workers and their families back home. With XRP as the backbone, transaction times have been reduced from days to mere seconds, a game changer for many who rely on these funds for daily living. But it's not just about speed. The transparency and traceability Ripple offers mean fewer errors, less fraud, and a higher degree of trust between institutions and their clients.
This trust is crucial, especially in a world where cyber threats are ever evolving. And believe it or not, we've only scratched the surface. The depth and breadth of XRP's integration into the global financial system are staggering. For instance, Japan's SPI has recently incorporated XRP into its crypto lending services. Now in Japan, individuals can either lend out their XRP or secure loans using XRP, with lending amounts ranging from a minimum of $497 to a maximum of $100,000 XRP. This expansion isn't limited to just financial institutions. Entire nations are getting on board. James, a representative from Ripple, recently disclosed that over 30 countries are either announcing or are on the brink of announcing their central bank digital currencies based on the XRP ledger. This is monumental, especially when you consider the growing number of companies that are either building directly on the XRP ledger or using it as a bridge, further enhancing XRP's utility and application. Another noteworthy development is the growing interest from emerging markets, countries in Africa, Latin America, and parts of Southeast Asia, which have traditionally been underserved by the global banking system, are now exploring the potential of XRP. XRP to bridge the financial inclusion gap. By leveraging the speed, transparency, and affordability of XRP, these nations aim to empower their citizens, stimulate economic growth, and foster a more inclusive financial ecosystem. This brings me to the crux of my argument, the potential appreciation in XRP's value. As the supply diminishes due to burn-offs and the adoption of XRP continues to surge, basic economic principles suggest that with high demand and limited supply, the value is bound to increase. Increase. Whether this surge happens in a week, a month, or even over several years is secondary. What's paramount is recognizing the inherent utility of XRP's technology. It's poised to revolutionize the cross-border transaction sector, and when it does, its value could soar, perhaps even reaching into the thousands. Don't just take my word for it. The managing director of Valhill Capital has projected that XRP could be valued between $10,000 to $35,000 per coin, especially given the momentum we're seeing with multiple nations initiating the development of their central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, on the XRP ledger. To give you a clearer picture, let's hear it directly from the source. Here's the clip where the managing director discusses the potential of XRP and the intriguing possibility of a collaboration between central banks and governments. Let's roll the footage. The proposition is for XRP to serve as the world's intermediary currency, a neutral asset that central banks could utilize to facilitate the exchange from one fiat currency to another. If this vision materializes, it aligns with our earlier discussions about XRP's potential to encompass a vast monetary value. Consequently, based on such a scenario, XRP's value could, almost instantaneously upon consensus, range between $10,000 and $35,000. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.